I'm going insane having to look at you every day. Enough! You are not waking me up again tomorrow. Do you understand? Take it back. Please, let this be the last time. I'm not delusional. I know what I am. I'm no monster. You're the monster. Jacques, Monsieur Mulder. Run for your lives! There's a monster! Run! Monster! Monster! Do you want a hat? No. Have you ever performed this uh, act on anyone else? What, are you sick? 21st century genetic engineering will not only eradicate the Siamese twins and the alligator skin people, but you're going to be hard pressed to find a, a slight overbite or not so high cheekbone. You see, I've seen the future, and the future looks just like him. Imagine going through your whole life looking like that. That's why it's left up to the self made freaks like me and the conundrum to remind people. Remind people of what? Nature abhors normality. It can't go very long without creating a mutant. Do you know why? No, why? I don't either. It's a mystery. Maybe some mysteries are never meant to be solved. Excuse me. What's your name? Uh, Zero. Zero? Do you mind if we talk for a minute? What for? I'm with the FBI. All right. What's going on? I don't know. Nothing. You know, I've been thinking. The first time for everything. I'm thinking we should go somewhere. Get out of this hole. Maybe check out Las Vegas. You could do some serious damage someplace like that. What makes you think she's going to want to go anywhere with you? Wake up, dude. There's another slight problem. She's married to your boss. Maybe I could fry him. Dude, he's your boss. Not if he's dead, he won't be. <laughs> Are you high? I know how crazy this is going to sound, but I want to be abducted by aliens. Why? Whatever for? I hate this town. I hate people. I just want to be taken away to some place where I, I don't have to worry about finding a job. So you were out in the field that night looking for UFOs. You mean it is, it's just a dead human being? Well, I didn't spend all those years playing Dungeons and Dragons and not learn a little something about courage. He's just being sweet, covering for me. He knows the truth. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. The night of my senior prom, a tornado demolished our high school. And then, on my wedding day, they had always dreamed about. The ceremony was outdoors on the 4th of July weekend. It snowed six inches. What's your connection to Daryl Moots? Well, we used to be engaged. And um, we had a fight, and he took a drive, and, and, the, and that freak hailstorm cost him his leg. Am I under arrest? No. I can tell you without a doubt that you're not responsible for any of that weather. <laughs> but... Agent Scully and I specialize in these types of cases. And, and, and although you may have had some bad luck, you didn't cause any of it. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure, Scully. You have any doubts? No. You see? No doubts. I really want to believe you. Well, you didn't need to do that. Oh, please. I have more dishes than I need. I, you know, I just usually use one and then wash it. Uh, I'm uh, Mike Raskin, by the way. 
Big Mike, for obvious reasons. I just live the next street over. Oh. That's a caduceus. Are you a doctor, Mike? No, uh, vet, veterinarian. If you folks are thinking about getting a dog uh, or any pet, I'd be happy to check it out for you, no charge. Just, uh, you're not allowed to have over 16 pounds of pets. That's one of the CCNRs. Mighty nice of you, Mike. I, uh, gosh, with all this hospitality, I can't believe the clients ever left. That, uh, uh, that was their name, wasn't it? The, uh, the clients? I, I have to go. Don't you think that, uh, maybe this time it would be better if we told them? Mike, you and I have been through this before. We, we don't know yet if we can trust them. It's just that there are so many, so many rules. I think that maybe they would be able to keep up with them better if they knew what happened if they don't. For God's sake, Izzy! Izzy, come back, go! You gotta be kidding. What? Don't what me, Izzy, or you ain't going to no comic book convention. I'm 18. I can go anywhere I want. Yeah, but where are you gonna live when you get back? Mom, we gotta get going. What's going on? These are Agents Mulder and Scully from the FBI. The Federal Bureau of Investigations? We were wondering how this suspect in your mother's case looks exactly like this. The Great Mutato. Well, because I, I've seen him too. You've seen the Great Mutato? Yeah, a lot of people around here have. Where's the writer? I'm going to speak to the writer. Oh, it's just a pet project of mine. Since an insect's exoskeleton is a dielectric surrounding the conductive medium of its body fluid, when introduced into an electrical field, the brush discharge will result in a colored flare. What is that supposed to prove? Well, it's my theory that UFOs are actually insect swarms. I don't know if you know anything about UFOs, but all the characteristics of a typical sighting are shared with nocturnal insects swarming through an electrical airfield. The sudden appearance of a color glowing light hovering in the night sky, moving in a non-mechanical manner, possibly humming, creating interference with radio and television signals, then suddenly disappearing. As uh, nocturnal insect swarms, it's, uh, it's fascinating. Everything about insects is fascinating. I appreciate all your help. I've got a movie to write. You're leaving? You don't want to get to the bottom of this? Not especially. Well, you know, sometimes truth can be stranger than fiction. Well, fiction is quicker than truth and cheaper. You want my advice? You're both crazy. Well, why do you say that? Well, you're crazy for believing what you believe, and you're crazy for not believing what he believes. I'll leave you with that. Thank you. I miss him already. Ask him. He's got it all figured out. Well, I know what he'd say. He'd say that you're some kind of a genie from a thousand and one nights or something like that, and then you grant people wishes. Well, there you have it. Well, one thing I haven't been able to figure out is whether you're a good genie or an evil one. Everybody you come in contact with seems to meet a bad end. That's the conclusion you've drawn? That I'm evil? Well, possibly evil, possibly cursed, a curse to others. The only thing you people are cursed with is stupidity. All of you, everybody, mankind, everyone I have ever come into contact with, without fail, always asking for the wrong thing. So what was your final wish anyway? Here you go.
I never saw any of them again.